Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. We are a few minutes away for the newest episode of Arrow is Upon Us. People have been screaming at me for the past week saying, Don't watch the promo for this episode! Don't watch it! It has a huge freaking spoiler! I'm like, okay, I don't watch promos to begin with. I avoid them like the plague. I stay away from them. It's almost impossible to avoid spoilers, like all of them, but I avoid as much as I possibly can. So don't worry, okay? So, all I really know going in this episode, because I'm guessing, is I don't know the freaking title. Where is my remote? There it is. What is the title of this episode? I don't even freaking know. Docket number 11194173. That probably has some kind of tie-in with the Easter egg of Arrow, but um, but my guess is the trial is starting, because that's what Diaz said, like, yeah, I want to move up a trial date, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, I'm guessing we're going to see some revelations, some truths, maybe some lies. I, I have no idea. I mean, I, I, I don't know. You know, I'm excited for the show nonetheless. I'm really, I'm overall enjoying season six, and uh, the trial is starting, I guess, in this episode, and I guess we'll see what happens. But uh, it's starting right now, guys. I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's jump into tonight, guys. Newest episode of Arrow. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> starting off, uh, Diggle kicking the shit out of a small army. Just out in the open saying that? Jesus. Okay. Hydra! Why is Hale in this the show now? Wait a minute. Kinda. I'm the guy that arrested Oliver six years ago, remember? Yes. I watched him pass a polygraph. Mm-hmm. He's not the Green Arrow. Do you know who he is? I got a few guesses. Hmm. Who? At the Black Canary, you have to know who the Green Arrow is. You do. Oh, crap. And I'll testify to it if they subpoena me. Hmm. In fact, he's taken as many lives as he saved. So, yes, mm. Oliver Queen is a hero. But that doesn't mean he's not also a criminal. He's more of a hero. You think you're Laurel? would stand up to Diaz. I know it. Well, maybe if she were a little smarter, she wouldn't have gotten herself killed. Ah! I still hate the fact that they killed her. It's been... I'm exercising my Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. Mm, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. You should have just said no, I didn't kill him. If I go in and try and convince the courtroom that I'm more I'm gonna get made. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I think she's right. I just wanna be a little quick. Oh, sweet Jesus. What do you think? She can't doing? scream. What will happen if Mr. Oliver goes to jail? He's not going to jail, right? Mm -hmm. Well he is. She I knows. Think we both know better. Wait, does that mean that you know? Wait a minute. Why is she there? Who's... Oh, God! Oh, God! What a piece of shit. Oh shit! Oh! Out in the open? Okay. Are you the Green Arrow? Yes. Oops. <laughs> I'd be putting a target on my back. I'd be putting a target on my wife and son's back. Yeah, everybody being dressed. Doctor, a photo to make Oliver Queen look like the Green Arrow if he were the Green Arrow. In which he's not. He's my husband, I would know. Hmm. No further. What else had he lied about? Oh shit! What the fuck? Fucking Tommy! I 
Okay. I am not about to let Oliver take the blame for me. This is so fucking crazy. Oh, wait! That's what I'm here They said he was going to be in this episode, and they said it's about flashbacks. Thank you. What the fuck? Okay, this is a complete twist. Me before I ever get to prison, so team? Get him out of here. Oh, wait a minute. I figured as much. I figured because I was like, who's the guy he saved at the beginning? We're gonna save each other. Can't save anyone from five bars. Okay, yeah, just looking at time. Yeah, it's true. You break him out, then it's gonna be pretty obvious. They're gonna like, well, he broke out of prison. Who's telling the truth? Come on, Laurel. I've had an idea, Hoss. Come on, Laurel. Oh, no. What's your, what's your idea? Who is the green arrow? <sighs> well? Tell me, really. Woo! Oh! She went against Diaz. Oh, 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 I might be going to prison. Yeah. Well, I don't think so. I mean, not the season finale. So, can't do this now, can we? In the matter of the people versus Oliver Queen on all 26 counts of the indictment, we find the defendant guilty. Oh! Fuck! Oh, I was not expecting that. What? Your Honor, the evidence presented was so conflicting that it created reasonable doubt. Hmm. motion for judgment notwithstanding the verdict is granted. Oh. See permission. Then you're free to go. Holy sh- Okay, that completely turned immediately. I absolutely am. Mr. Diaz is in the forgiving type. <laughs> oh my god! That was awesome. I'm very sorry for everything that happened afterwards. There you go. So they're on good terms now ish? He actually didn't do it. Oh crap! Laurel. There you go. Fighting back. Oh shit. Just straight up murdering guys, but hey. Getting your revenge. Oh! He's got a device that prevents it. Holy crap, this fucking episode! Holy crap, so many things happened! Okay, so, let's talk about the biggest thing first, Tommy. Now, it clicked after he popped up, but I remember a few weeks back, I think maybe even over a month ago, Stephen Amell, Oliver Queen himself, tweeted saying that Tommy's back and there's flashbacks, whatever, like he tweeted something and there's like flashbacks, it was like, okay, and it didn't click until he popped up. Okay, this is not flashbacks! Um, and then I'm sitting there and then I remember I retweeted a video of Colin Donald who plays Tommy in the arrow suit and I thought he was just joking around. He put on the suit because he was on set or whatever and he just, it didn't click. It did not click until I was watching. It was like, wait a minute. Oh God. And even though it wasn't really Tommy Merlin, it was. Nice to see Tommy in some sort of way um, back on the show. It was, turns out, it was the human target. And he played the judge again at the end, so he got to play two different characters in this episode. So it's cool that they can use him um, for really cool ways. Like, I, I didn't see the judge one for sure. Like, I was like, okay, this is not Tommy. I don't know. And then it was the, the more I thought about it, okay, I think it's human target, but I'm not 100% sure it was. But it was still cool to see nonetheless Tommy. Um, so. A lot of emotions, a lot of crazy shit goes down in that courtroom. So first of all, they have Hydra, 
Agent, or not, is it Agent Hale? No, it's Hale from Hydra on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She's pfft, like the, the other pro prosecutor or whatever the fuck. I don't even know the legal term names. R regardless, she's going against Oliver Queen trying to prove he's, you know, blah, blah, blah. So they have Hydra against them and they call everybody to the stand. And it was going pretty decent. They're like, yeah, we're dodging. And nah, no, he's not the Green Arrow. Nah, 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 nah. And then they bring up Renee, which he started this whole thing. He started this whole thing. Well, an FBI agent, I forget her name, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, basically was using his daughter against him for it to testify he's the Green Arrow. So he goes up there. And then his daughter walks in with some really creepy music I'm like well this is not good and then I see a hand on her on her shoulder it's fucking Richard Dragon walks her in and is just tapping her on the shoulders just standing there just staring at Renee Oliver's green arrow fuck like it was just and then they conflict they turn right around and then Oliver is on the stand and then boom there comes Tommy, a.k.a. Human Target. Um, and then, th the jury finds him guilty. And right before, he's doing this whole speech about William and how he loves him and how he can grow up to be the man that he knows he can be. It's all emotional shit, and he wants Felicity and William to go to Argus Protection because he knows I'm going to jail. Oh, also, he told his freaking... He, he told his lawyer that he's the Green Arrow. She's like, are you the Green Arrow? Yes, like just openly. I think it's because he trusts her because she's been around for like the whole entire series. She's she's always popped up when legal shit goes down. So he's like, I gotta tell her. Oh, also, like there's so many there's so many things pumped back as I'm talking. The doctor who we see very like very little, but when we do see her, it counts. She's basically like hiding the fact, and she knows he's the Green Arrow. Like she tried to save Laurel Lance's life, didn't end up happening. Um, and so. She's like, no, I didn't know who he was. I was taking care of Laurel Lance. And so then Laurel goes up to the stand. Now, this is where everything flips. This is where the episode gets crazy. Because right before this, Ricardo Diaz, a.k.a. Richard Dragon, a.k.a. a big piece of fucking shit. And I love it, honestly. I love the fact that he is so, he's getting more and more evil as the episodes go on. He starts choking her. Like, he's not, like, trying to be partners with her. Like, he's now being the dominated figure. And she is terrified of him. I kind of see why. Like, as we're progressing and more and more we see of him, yeah, I can see why she is scared shitless of him. She's supposed to go up there, and the plan was for her to dismantle everything they did and explain how the, the person you saw, Tommy Merlin, that is not that is not real. That is all fake. It's a guy, human target, a, a chance or something like that. No, it's not real. She goes up and like, oh, yeah, Tommy Merlin's Green Arrow. Tommy is. Yeah, Tommy is. Yeah, nah, you know, it's not Oliver. No. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So she's finally going against the Diaz, and then at the end of the episode, she attempts to try to kill Diaz. She, actually, she gets one hit on him with her canary cry screaming, and then he actually has a device to dampen it, which I, which makes sense because if Richard Dragon didn't, then he's an idiot because he is pushing her to her limit and is forcing her to do things against her will when he was like, oh, I'm not going to do that, and then he does it. He's not going to, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you are. Um... So the jury finds him guilty, which is a big moment. I wasn't expecting that because I'm like, okay, look, it's not the season finale. If they're going to do something crazy like this for him to go to prison, it's not going to be in the season. It's not going to be in this episode. It's going to be in the season finale if they do something like that. It's like, oh, guilty. I'm like, what the fuck? And then immediately like, oh, yeah. And then the judge, it's not really the judge. It's human target. He's like, yeah, yeah, this is still confusing for the jury. So get pro probation. You're free to go, Oliver Queen. Okay. <laughs> He's gone. Um... Something that I wasn't expecting, but it makes sense, and I'm hoping that um, this will lead to, hopefully, a reconnection, is Renee and Oliver shook hands, and they both apologized, and I don't think this means that new Team Arrow, which, don't know why they call themselves that, because there's no Arrow on their team. Regardless, Renee, Dinah, and Curtis, I don't think this means they're going to be coming back and joining his team, but I think this means they're going to work with him, because my guess is with Diaz saying at the end he's going to kill Oliver Queen, that's his new plan, he's going to need a lot of help, because he has all of the police force basically on his side, and then other people as well, Diaz has a fucking, he has the whole city, he owns basically the entire city, so Oliver's going to need help, 
So we'll see how this all goes down. I'm I'm, I'm excited. I'm this. It's ramping up. This season is getting more and more crazy. And um, you know, I, I I will admit, throughout the season, it's been kind of flip floppy. Some episodes have been pretty good. Some episodes meh could have been better. Some episodes eh, that could have been a lot better. I feel like as the season is progressing and as it's getting closer and closer to the season finale, in which we're, I think we have two more episodes than we're done for this season, it's getting more and more crazy and more and more hype, and I'm getting more excited to see where we're going to go at the end of the season, and I'm, and I'm interested to see what the season seven going to bring. So there you have it, guys. This episode was crazy. There was a lot of shit that happened. There's probably some stuff I didn't cover. I'm very, very sorry, but I really enjoyed this episode, and I'm curious to know what you guys thought about tonight's episode. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. What were your favorite moments? What were your least favorite? moments whatever thoughts you have about the episode let me know in the comments i will talk to you guys soon peace out